guys welcome back to my channel again so today's video as you guys can see is another hair video um so go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel but today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to properly get your frontal to look somewhat supernatural it's like not not supernatural but you know somewhat natural in the front and also how to just bleach your frontal um, so I hope this video is going to be helpful and if it is, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. So this video today, I'm going to be using this wig from Wool Africa and I've been trying to like use their hair because they have like yaki hair that I see a lot of YouTubers use and I'm just like, I have to try this hair. So when they contacted me, they said, like, oh, pick a wig and I was like, do you have the yaki? And they didn't have that in stock at the time. So I was like, I will wait until you have the yaki hair because I wanted to try it. So this hair today is a yaki lace wig and it, it is a 360. Lace, lace wig so in this this box you get an instruction that shows you how to take care of your hair and maintain it um and a bit on how to you know put it in secure whatever and then you also get a wig cap and i'm so happy i got this wig cap because it's dark and like thank you because all the other companies always send me this yellow wig cap and i'm just like what am i supposed to do with this yellow wig cap um, even though I use it, but then I have to put makeup on it. But then on the back, they have a elastic band that you can actually use to um to secure your wig. So you know, this summer when you go on that roller coaster, girl, your wig is not gonna be flying everywhere. So if you want, you can go ahead and add elastic band. And I actually did, but I didn't show it on this video. But if you guys want to see like a instruction on how to add elastic bands to your wig please let me know so like i said this wig is actually a 360 lace wig so it has a um, lace all around it so you can actually put this here on a high ponytail if you wish to do so on the back the hair doesn't look super natural so if you want you can go ahead and tweak it but i don't really tweak the back because i'm not planning on wearing um this here in a ponytail so in the inside you actually get or a comb so you get one in the front two on the side and one on the back and you also get a it also comes with a strap on the back that you can tie it to make it tighter um so i like how they have all of this option to really make sure that the wig is super secured on so shout out to you guys anyway so to get started on the bleaching process i'm gonna go ahead and take my um bold and my brush so you need a bowl and a brush and then you are going to need the volume developer and i'm today i'm actually using the 40 volume developer usually i would use the 30 but we're gonna go with the 40 today and then i'm gonna take my bw powder so you need that developer and then you need the powder and you are actually going to be mixing this two together so i'm gonna take two scoops of the bleaching powder and i put it in my bowl and that joint was flying everywhere i was like inhaling it like crazy and so i'm gonna go ahead and pour my um developer and guys i don't really measure i just kind of eyeball it so the thing is make sure your um your bleach your this thing that we're mixing is not too watery you want it to be thick but you don't want it to be like powdery either um but don't make it watery if you make it watery that thing is gonna stick in to the lace wig and it's going to bleach the hair and we don't want it to bleach the hair we just want it to bleach the knot so yeah mine was a bit watery but um you know it wasn't a huge damage so I'm just going to go ahead and apply it on the lace, um, around the lace. I'm not putting it in the middle because the middle is where the tracks are. And you don't need to put it in the middle because that would just be useless. Um, so I just went and applied it with a light hand and I let it set for 30 minutes. And then after 30 minutes, you guys can see how it's lighter. And so that is going to give it a more of a natural um, what do you call it natural scalp looking so it's not black because no one's scalp is actually black so now I'm just kind of blow drying the hair backward um, so that I can start tweaking and so in this video I'm not really showing you a detail of how I actually tweak the hair because I have another video on my channel um, that would you know basically show you guys how 
how I properly um, tweak my hair and make it look natural. So I'm going to leave it in the description bar down below. So I just went ahead and sped this video and just kind of pulled the hair and I'm using tweezers. So yeah, and as you guys can see, it looks so much more lighter and more on the natural on side than how we started. So to start our baby hair, I'm basically kind of pulling out some hair and the hair that are actually coming out of um, the lace, as you guys can see, are shorter hair. So which is perfect to do our baby hair. And then I'm going to take my tweezer again. I'm going to go over that hair that I pulled out and just kind of tweeze it a little bit more just to make it lighter because you do not want your baby hair to be super thick. If your baby hair is too thick, it's just not looking natural at all. So I'm going to go ahead and take this got to be, got to be glue um, freeze spray and I'm just going to spray it a little and then I'm just going to start kind of cooming it backwards just kind of see where I need to cut um, the hair and the way the direction that I'm combing the hair is the direction that I'm going to cut the hair because that's just going to give it a more natural look and I'm actually using a razor because I feel like using a razor gives it more of a what do you call it like not a sharp cut that a scissors would so it gives it that um, natural razor type of thing so now I'm going to be taking my Got To Be Glued um, Ultra Gel and I just place it on that baby hair and then I start combing it and shaping it and making it a swove. I think that's how you call it, a swove. And I'm just like combing it back into the lace wig as you guys can see, like literally that's what I'm doing. I'm not doing it so nicely because I just wanted this to look as natural as possible as possible and not too you know done so as you guys can see that is basically it and then I just went ahead and cut my um, lace because you do not need all that extra lace so right now my little extra self got my cap on I told you guys I was gonna wear that cap um so I'm gonna go ahead and just um apply the wig on and um, some of the baby hair of course didn't stay down so I'm going to have to go back again and just fix it a little bit. So this is the glue that I use. I like using the glue that comes in the black gel um, because I find that doesn't give me that white, um, what do you call it, dandruff looking when it's dry. So I just went ahead and applied that glue around the perimeter of my hair and where I know my lace is going to be laying. So... And then I'm going to take the freeze spray and I'm going to spray it right on that, on top of the glue that I just applied. And this actually makes your hair, your wig stay down. Like, when I have this on, guys, I went to this, um, what is, what was it called? Orlando? Okay, I was in Orlando and we went to the park, amusement park, and I was riding the roller coaster. And I'm going to tell you, girl, my wig was put like it did not skip a beat okay so anyway so now I'm just pulling my lace and I'm just um, making sure I'm pressing it gently down on that glue that we apply and yeah so you just press tap 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 and dab 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 and then I'm just gonna kind of go back um, and kind of make my swove that I did earlier on the wig um, but I guess I just have to do it again because when you put it on your head is definitely different from how it comes out on the um, mannequin so yeah that is what I'm doing and again I'm trying to do that swoof and pushing it back into the hair and guys literally that's it you're done you're done man that's how I get my hair to look natural um, considering the fact that I'm completely bald and I don't have any hair um, so yeah I hope you guys enjoy this video guys and please, please, if this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and other videos that I just like to do. Um, but yeah, guys, remember to always be your own kind of beautiful. Bye.
so proud.